Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Sky RC IMAX B6 Mini Charger. Uh, I know this is a pretty popular option with a lot of people, and so I decided to get one for myself. Uh, one of the main reasons I got it, because I thought it was kind of neat, you can get this Wi-Fi module for it. This is sold separately, uh, but you plug it into the side here. It says PC Link, and then now you can control the charger from your smartphone connected to the Wi-Fi. So that was kind of cool, and that was really what uh, made me decide to get it. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's really small for, I mean, as far as these LiPo chargers go, they're usually these huge, bulky things. Uh, so pretty cool to see it in this small size. Um, however, it does still require this large external power supply. Um, and there is no on-off switch on it, so as soon as you plug it in, it's on and ready to go. So it's not exactly the kind of thing you can, like, you know, leave plugged in and set up on your, you know, workbench or whatever. Uh, you've got to constantly unplug it or, you know, have it connected to a flipped power supply or whatever. Uh, it also does come with these, uh, I guess, what are these, DC um, ch power supplies. So you can plug that in and then clip those onto a battery or however that works. I'm not really into the electronics enough to know the the details there, but that is another way to power it. Uh, this little cable here is uh, for your temperature sensor, which it doesn't come with, but that is, I believe, that's what that's for. That's to connect to a temperature sem sensor, which is sold separately. And then, you know, you clip that onto your, you know, nickel metal hydride battery or something to make sure it doesn't overheat while charging. Uh, it also comes with a few different ch charger cables here, which I thought was pretty clever. They give you, this is your banana cable, so this is what plugs in to the side of the charger here. And then you also have all your balance ports uh, built right into it, so you don't have a separate board for that. So that's pretty convenient. Um, but then it goes out to this one type of connector, and then all of these are adapters, so they all plug in to that one banana cable and then they each have so you've got a JST plug you've got you know these just normal little clamps or whatever those are uh, this is like I'm not sure what exactly that is I think that's a receiver plug type um, and then you've got your XT60 so the most popular ones that I use are these two these are very common on quadcopter batteries and so those both, you know, you just plug into whichever adapter you want and then plug those into your charger. And then, you know, you can obviously buy a ton of different charging cables separately or, you know, they've got these huge octopus cables where they're, you know, they've got the one banana plug and then they split off into a bunch of different uh, types of plugs. Um, so, yeah, that's everything it comes with. And again, this Wi-Fi module is separate. Um, so now we'll get back to looking at the charger itself. Uh, not really much to it. Pretty straightforward and easy to use. You, you know, you got your uh, your different settings that you can flip through. You hit your modes and then pick your different settings and hit enter here to select them. Um, it charges at a 6 amp max, so that would be a 1C charge for a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so anything 6,000 6, milliamp hours or less uh, you can charge at at least 1C. You can charge higher than that if you want for a smaller battery. Um, however, I suggest just always charging at a 1C rate. Uh, and then it goes all the way down to a 0.1 amp charge. So for like a 100 milliamp hour battery, you can charge that at a 1C rate as well. Um, it does do a storage charge. It stores it at 3.80 volts, which I always thought it was 3.85, but I guess anywhere between 8085 is going to be fine. Uh, so it does do a storage charge, so that's nice and convenient if you want to get your batteries ready to sit through winter or for you know a couple weeks or whatever, do a storage charge on them, and that'll make sure they're in good health while they sit there. Um... I did try, I was charging a large battery with this XT60 plug using, you know, the the, plug, the cables that came with it with this adapter, and it was a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so I had it set to a 5 amp charge, but I only ever saw it get up to 2.7 amps actively charging it. So I don't know if that was because of the adapter, you know, maybe this extra 
little adapter in here kind of limits how much power would come through it and I would maybe get a better uh, power supply if I went straight from banana cables to this plug. Um, but I haven't get, gotten a chance to test that yet. But I didn't actually ever see it get up to the 5 amps uh, that I had it set to charge at. So that was a little confusing. Um, I've also had some issues with the Wi-Fi connection. It'll drop the connection sometimes. Or I'll try to start the charge through my app on the phone. And it'll say that the battery's full. But if I start it on the charger itself, it starts just fine. So I'm not really sure what that is. Um, sometimes I found that I had to start it this way and then connect via the app and then I could at least monitor it from my phone and keep an eye on the, the charge rate and you know what each cell uh, was charged up to. So it, the, the app, it may not function entirely you know trying to start your charge, but it at least functions as a way to monitor it while it charges if all else fails. So still pretty cool little option, I thought. Uh, anything else to say about this one? Uh, no, that looks like that's about it. I mean, it does have a little internal fan on it there if it needs to cool itself off, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think that's about it. There's a little bit closer look at it. Uh, you can use it, you can connect a battery to it, and then just, I think there's a setting in there that you can go to where it'll just tell you the charge of your cells. So you can do that to just know uh, the charge in your cells without having to actually charge it or anything. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Um, oh, and it does do multiple chemistry. You've got, you know, lipo. Looks like my display's a little scratched there, but uh, lipo, life, and lion, 1 to 6s, nickel metal hydride, and NICAD and then whatever lead charge whatever that is and then you can also discharge your batteries if you want um but yeah that's about it that's the sky rc imax b6 mini and it does come in a couple different versions you can get it where it's just the charger or there are versions that come with the power supply so if you need the power supply be sure that you order the right one or you're gonna have to find your own power supply for it all right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.